Today we're coaching an Ascendant 3 Rays player who struggled a lot with autopiloting. I gotta respect his confidence though, you'll see what I mean later, so why don't you just sit back, grab your notebooks, and enjoy the video. Roomba is fine. On Pisteron, typically you want to go upgraded pistol with Roomba. This is like, okay. White armor does count as upgraded pistol. I like to go frenzy on raise just because like you have a lot of chip damage. You have a nade, you have Roomba, a lot of things that will do chip damage, which can lead into easier kills of the frenzy. Some people like going white armor. Some people like going ghost. It doesn't really matter. So right away, you're starting right here. On raise, typically you want to start art and then rotate into A and then let like Astra play A main. Just think about the way that this map kind of plays out. It's really easy for Astra to anchor A on this sort of map because she's just here and then she's here and then she has a timing between suck and smoke. You don't have to call for it and everything kind of goes to itself and then you're really good at fighting art because art's like just a clusterfuck right a bunch of tight corridors and that sort of thing and you're really good at fighting alley because you have Roomba and Nate and if you are going to play a main you either need to be playing pixel angle so that way you get the information earlier or you want to be walking up and getting like aggressive information with somebody too you don't want to be doing it alone not only that but when you look at your map like what's wrong with your map right now you can't see the whole fucking map if they go b you have no clue you have no information it's like particularly worse for you if your teammates don't have comms because then you just don't know their b yeah. the settings called keep player center off you need to turn that on Starting backside, dude. You and the fucking last person I just coached have this exact same problem, dude. You're just giving up all this space for free without even spotting for information. The main issue where this comes in, like, at least play pixel. The reason why I say that is so you get the information, like, right here. When you get this information, it gives you time for rotations. Right? That's, like, the big thing, especially in ranked. Like, essentially, the more you limit test to make stupid plays, the more rewarded you'll be in ranked. I'm not saying to be uh -huh. an idiot, but I'm saying is to at least get the information earlier than fucking by the time they're executing the site. Right? You just got fucking shit on, know. bro. He flicked on me like crazy. I would have just peeked. So if you're going art, peek off your Astra instead of like swinging wide like this. Because right? like if you peek off your Astra, then it's a trade. Always remember that in that situation, you get to bait your teammates. So always take it, dude. Anytime I get to bait my teammates, I'm accepting it. When you're rotating, it's fine because of the position you were in. But like typically you'll start art. You want to rotate through connector. It's a faster rotation and it gives you more map control through the rotation. Rotating spawn takes a really long time and you give up map control. Yeah, at this point, you just have to duel, bro. You're too far committed. You hear them? Like, don't give away your position. Like, there's no reason to. This isn't going to stall. If you want to stall, you just throw your nade right here and just chuck your nade right away if you want to stall. Like, utility is great and all, but sometimes, like, using no utility is better than using utility. You just got to discern the two. All four of you fuckers are here. Yeah, it was not looking good. Nah, you guys got this, I believe. The room back hall. Yep, nade left side. Yep. Watch this, watch this. All good. <laughs> You're like waiting too long. Like you peek out, like look at how long you're exposed with your utility out here already. The next day. Yo, like you're just exposing yourself to too many angles for too long. And the teammates are holding it, right? It's just like not mm -hmm. good. But you can just use your utility a little bit faster and then you'd have your gun out too. And then your KD would look a little bit nicer. Yeah, also I think the biggest thing with like your utility usage in terms of timing it, you don't really use either audio cues or like utility cues. Right? They're gonna use utility to like fight things, right? They throw an eye, but they've never hit off the eye. They hit off like a rain or like a phoenix flash, right? You need to start taking, okay, they're using this utility and this utility tells me that they are going out. So then you need to take that and you need to go from there. It's like picking up like a little bit deeper patterns, if that makes sense. You're indecisive. You need to like look at your guys' positions. Rain needs to be looking to the right. You need to be looking to the left. Right. Just. Don't even like question this guy up here. Ignore him. He doesn't exist. Uh -huh. You saw the shots come from the left. Just stay focused on one thing. Yep. Stay focused on the one guy. Let your rain deal with that because like because you doubt him, you don't kill the brimstone. But if you kill the brimstone, this round was winnable. A lot of this specific game really comes down to like you like playing in like a weird position and then not understanding the timing of when you use. I mean, like, look at this. We're fucking pushing you, and you choose to use a Roomba instead of your fucking nade. Is the little fucking car gonna stop anyone? <laughs> No, nah, my nades would probably do more. Yeah, your nades like scary. That thing can one shot people. I promise you that Roomba only does 80 damage and it only hits one person. So let's break it down real quick, okay? What is the purpose of your Roomba? Get info, clear like corners that I don't want to push, things like that. So you can either get info like mid to late round when you don't know where people are, you can clear angles with it, and you can use it as like a distraction to fight somebody one on one. Those are like the three reasons you kind of use your Roomba. So like stall, notice, is not one of them. Now, what are your satchels used for? I go fast. You go fast, what else can they be used for? I can bounce them off yeah, of things. Yeah, you can displace them. Right? And you can use to break utility by the way don't forget that one so those are the three pieces like let's say there's cypher trips chamber trips like, you can throw your satchel to break it without having to peek right? what is your nade used for damage stalling getting people out of places i don't want them to be on damage stalling and clearing corners right? now the damage part really shouldn't be used that much because it really shouldn't be used for raw damage in reality like flushing people out of corners installing people's pushes that's the main reason it's going to be used for rocket what's rocket used for blowing them up blowing them up clearing corners creating space and it can also be used as a zoning tool because right? if you pop your ult is anybody gonna run into that shit usually not no, they're scared yeah 
yeah, they're scared. So I can use the zoning tool. So like, let's say you want to get the bomb down. So you just pop your ult and tell them to plant. All of a sudden, do you know all that space you just created? There's nobody that's going to fucking run into sight and try to kill that planter. You have a rocket. Now that we understand how our utility is used, we can start thinking, how do we want to use it? They're rushing a main. Oh, well, my nade is one of the things I use for stalling. Cool. Let's throw my nade. That's how your utility should be used. And once you've developed the thought process of, oh, my utility can be used for X, Y, Z, you'll find a lot more situations to where you can use your utility. Does that make sense? Yeah. Going into eco round, what is your strategy? Try and look for a pick, create pressure on the map. There's three basic rules for now that you should try to do. Get orbs, get bomb down, and then get extra kills. Your objective is not to win this round. Yes, you can win it, but your objective is to really play around those orbs and get the bomb plant down. Bomb plant equals extra money, which means more stable economy, which means more buys in the future. Ult orbs equals more win conditions going on in the future. So it's like kind of those mm -hmm. things. That's what you should be thinking about going into this round. Yeah, go swing spawn. Go swing spawn. Play an untradeable angle. Yeah, that's an untradeable angle that I like to see you play. Like, the only way you can lose this round is by taking a 1v1, and that's exactly what you're doing. I had to get my kills up, you know? I was feeling myself after that first kill. Yeah, you're gonna be feeling yourself in Ascendant 2 if you don't stop this shit. <laughs> so, get your shit together, alright? Fucking uh -huh. 3v1, peek off your teammate. Okay, what should you do here in this 2v1 situation? I should be playing with my chamber. Right, just pop your ult, secure the round. You know where this guy is, just pop your ult and kill him. So this is like the thing. So many people, especially when playing raise, they hold on to their ults. 2v1, unless you're gonna double swing this guy, pop your ult, just kill him, secure the round, and then you also get your kills too. So it's like you feel better about yourself and you secure the round. So two for one. You wanna go for the lowest risk play. In this situation, 2v1, you know exactly where this guy is. What is stopping you from ulting right here? I guess I just get scared. Just because the 20% happens once doesn't mean it's gonna happen again. You can't use end result as like your determining factor for what happens. Because like sometimes you're gonna make the right play and have a bad end result. Right? You need to think was that play good and then go from there all right now go back main 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 go back main, go back main. fuck man oh, that's what i expected to happen now the 5v3 turns into a 3v3 you have rocket they tap the bomb okay think about this anytime you have oh, rocket yeah. if you're uh -huh. in post plan and they tap the bomb you get a free kill would you ever say no to a free kill i wouldn't you have these options available to you and you don't like use them you know Rocket, for the love of- Yes! You need to learn. Satchel, Rocket, Satchel. What the fuck is this? Satchel? Rocket, Satchel. Not Rocket, Satchel, Satchel. Like, look at this. You're exposed to the angle. Ah, fuck it, dude. We're just gonna Satchel in the middle of the open and get headshotted. So much I do there. Be behind the smoke and then Satchel through it or just hold your gun out and walk out. You don't need to Satchel on every single time you go out. You can scale with your teammates because right? there is no choke. So the basic rule of thumb when you're using movement utility is there has to be a choke that you're flying through if you want to use it or you have to have an intention. So for example, if you want to double Satchel and you double Satchel from here to like back halls that makes sense but if you're double satcheling to go from fucking here to here like you didn't create any space bro you just like made yourself untradeable ascent is a really good example right? there's a bunch of fucking chokes right choke choke so you satcheling or dashing out because you'd be playing jets so you dashing out or satcheling out makes sense right? so for example on haven it makes sense for you to like satchel into b it makes sense for you to satchel into a it makes sense for you to satchel up c that's how you should be thinking about it it's like okay do i actually need to satchel in this position and if like you have man advantage and you really don't need to satchel in that position <laughs> I'll get <laughs> what if this guy had it off? Oh, fuck just it. Like, you know what? Put him I down. Just, like, I don't even care. Him, you know? I just tapped him, you know? All right, now use your rocket. I got my rocket in the bag. We definitely use it here. It's last round. We definitely use a rocket here, right? All right, there you go. A little slow. Nice shot. Nice shot. Fucking cold. <laughs> Ice cold. All right, good job. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below because God, I'd suck someone's dick to get put in the algorithm. YouTube, if you're watching this, just let me know.